Okay, last one. Last one. You don't even have to sit up under your own power with this motorized gaming bed. Never mind a gaming <laughs> chair. Go straight to the gaming bed. Get the delivery. Get the DoorDash. Don't have to worry about it. That actually looks fairly comfortable. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Right? You could do your Elden Ring right there, couldn't you? Uh, it's got... Now, is the whole thing one piece? I guess there's a shelf... And then I'm wondering about the side piece there. Is that a curtain or like a hanger for a sweatshirt? It's quite a large. You need a pretty big room for this thing. Um, yes. So it, it's an L desk with two monitors and the bed is surrounding the desk. Yeah. Yeah. He lies or down. Or the L desk is surrounding the bed. Right. There you go. You got it. And it has a, a dual monitor arm type of mount. So he's got two screens. There's and a, he's got an iPad. There's a, oh, yeah, a I didn't even notice that part. There's an iPad, and then there's a keyboard, which uh, kind of swings down to the lap position, which right. there's a tray, which allows for a mouse to be located there as well. So there's there's really, like, a lot of mounting points and different arms coming from different spots. It looks like it's all powered. I see everything plugged in. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to hit a button uh, for the motorized bed to change. I don't mind the actual gaming position it's the sleeping part that would bother me it's quite intimidating for real for really truly relaxing because you got all this stuff hanging all over you <laughs> all the wires and yeah the man and radiation. The, hum, the hum the yeah. like of all like everything is on everything's hot all these gadgets the fans although oh i guess you could set it up you could rig it up to whatever extent you want because here you're seeing it without, and that's cool on its own. You could just have a TV in front of it, mm -hmm. and then it's just a comfortable, like, adjustable motorized futon at that point. So yes. I kind of think in that format it's okay. You don't have to rig it to the crazy extent that they did there. You could have a... Well, he's got even more <laughs> monitors up above that we, you couldn't even see in the initial portion. Yeah. No, you got to have this. It's right. <laughs> called the, the Bow Hut Electric Gaming Bed. A lightweight version of the Tempur-Pedic adjustable beds advertised for seniors, except the EGB is marketed toward gamers <laughs> at the peak of their gaming careers who need to transition from playing to sleeping and back again with as minimal effort and interruption as possible. I don't know if it's a good idea. I think you probably want to get up. You probably want to move around a little bit. I know a lot of those competitive gamers try to, they try to do like exercise yeah. in between to make it bearable. Uh, I think you want to move around. You gotta every so often. You, maybe a standing desk. Yeah, or 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 just like do your gaming and then like balance it out with uh, a hike, where you can find and return sure, yes. somebody's camera lens, or you could encounter a flying fox, uh, who's a, they're apparently not all that modest. Yeah. The wiener. Yeah, uh, thank you to everybody who joined here today. That's another episode in the books. We truly do appreciate all the support, all the super chats, keeping us going, keeping us running. Uh, yeah, I like. Uh, we had a nice variety of topics today. We're gonna have an even better variety tomorrow, and we're gonna be earlier because Will's not getting a fridge tomorrow. He handled that today. And it's not a thing you have to do that often. I think it'll be, I don't know, it might be years. It might be many years before I you have to so. sit around waiting for a fridge again. Mm -hmm. So congrats to you. Let's all collectively celebrate Will's new fridge. Thank you. Later, guys.